Hi there. Hey, my name is Gloria, and I'm here with you today to take you on an Oceanside adventure. I have two sisters, Nancy and Julia. Actually, I have more sisters than that, but these two wrote some children's books, and I am so excited to share this one with you. If you've got your book, go grab it. You can read with me, and if you don't, Listen closely, okay? So Oceanside Adventures. This story is about a little bunny who moves to Oceanside and he doesn't have any friends. Has that ever happened to you to get somewhere and not know anybody? Well, this happened to the bunny Colton and he was very sad. So let's see what he does about it. Colton had just moved into a new house in Oceanside, California. He was feeling very sad because he did not have any friends to play with at his new home. Colton noticed right away that this new house did not have any grass in the yard. You know, when you usually see bunnies, they're in grass because they like to eat it. He wondered how a bunny could live in a place without fresh green grass. His mother explained that California and San Diego and Oceanside does not get a lot of rain. They had to use plants that could grow and thrive in sunny, warm weather. I bet your guys' house has a lot of that. Hey, and here's another thing to throw in. They were careful to make sure we learned as much as possible with this book. So on every page, you're gonna find a spot that explains a little more what they're talking about. And here we've got something about uh, drought resistant yards. So, um, Anyway, just fun fact, and I, you're going to want to look for that, okay? Colton looked up and saw two parrots land in a nearby tree. The first parrot asked, What is your name, little bunny? Colton replied, My name is Colton. What is yours? The parrot answered, My name is Buster, and this is Bostwick. So there was two parrots. Why the long face? Colton said, I'm sad because I haven't made any friends in Oceanside yet. Everything looks and feels so different here. Before they flew away, both parents, parrots assured him new friends and adventures were just around the corner. There's little parrots all over Oceanside. They see everything and they knew Colton was going to have a good time. A few minutes later, a small dog and a bird joined Colton in his yard. Colton noticed that the dog was missing a leg. The dog introduced himself. Hello, my name is Joey. My small companion here is Gloria. The parrots told us, you have just moved into our neighborhood. Gloria tweeted, do you want to be our friend? Colton hopped around with excitement. He had found his first friends in Oceanside. Joey and Gloria invited Colton to the park with them. He ran into the house to ask his mom. She happily agreed and sent him on his way. Before running out the door to join his friends, Colton reluctantly told her about Joey's missing leg. His mother wisely shared, you know, friends come in all different shapes and sizes. Wouldn't it be boring if we were all the same? Yes, shouted Colton as he hopped out the door with glee. He's off to have fun. Colton, Joey, and Gloria were traveling down the sidewalk on their way to the park when they came upon two guinea pigs working in their organic garden. They were brothers named Smith and Carter. They happily put down their gardening tools when asked to join the group. Their mother let them go as long as they took their younger sister Jones with them. All three were eager to tag along. See, they, they like to make friends too. Soon the group of friends came across a giraffe named Scout playing with her hula hoop. Joey introduced her to their new friend Colton. Scout asked if she could come too. Everybody likes friends. The more the merrier, they all cried. Colton was happy to be surrounded by friendship. Of course, Scout got the okay from her parents first, which, you know, we always want to do so mom knows, mom and dad know where we're at. As the band of friends got closer to the park, 
they came across Camilla the kitten. She was lounging on the pathway's warm red bricks. She too wanted to be part of the fun. Camilla purred softly as she walked beside her new friend Colton. She's happy too. As a shortcut to the park, the group took a path that led them through Goat Hill Golf Course. Scout waved to her friend Billy, who was there with his Uncle Ed. Join us, called out Scout. Billy's uncle nudged him towards his friends, and they were all on their way. As they got closer to the park, Colton got a glimpse of the ocean. He stopped to take it all in. It was so beautiful, jetting out from the shore was a long wooden pier. Wow, what is that? asked Colton. That, replied Gloria, is the Oceanside Pier. It is over 100 years old and the longest wooden pier over water on the West Coast. Scout said, look Colton, you can see the surfers catching waves. Isn't that fun to see? Do you remember the first time you saw the ocean? Carter added, Oceanside even has a surf museum. Gosh, said Colton, there is so much to see and do here. Yes, Oceanside is an exciting place to be, Smith said proudly. Our library is one of my favorite places. They offer story time, book club, and even musical concerts. Jones added, after visiting the library, we can sit by the fountain and read. I love so many places in Oceanside, it is hard to choose, chimed in Carter. I like the Oceanside Museum of Art. Our class took a field trip there, said Joey. We saw some famous artists work and even got to create our own art. It's a fun place, the art museum and the library and the fountain. Our family went on a tour of the Mission St. Louis Ray last Sunday. It was very exciting. We learned a lot about the history of Oceanside there. I got to walk through old buildings and beautiful gardens, said shared Scout. I like Cafe 101. Word, Camilla. It is the oldest cafe on the famous 101 highway. It serves delicious french fries. I love french fries, said Colton. Before they knew it, the group had made their way to the entrance of the park. Waiting for them was a whole new set of friends, happy to meet and play with Colton. There was a sweet fawn named Jocelyn and an energetic puppy named Jackson who danced around with joy. An enthusiastic fox, Alec, and Pablo, a kind-hearted dog, were there as well. Everyone was greeted with a warm hello. Isn't that fun to do, hello? Introductions were made to Colton and then the fun began. The park erupted with silly giggles and joyful laughter as everyone enjoyed each other's company under the bright California sunshine. They're having a great time at the park with all their friends. After hours of fun, it was time to start heading home. Before they got too far, they decided to cross the street to Buccaneer Beach. Colton had never been to the beach. You don't very often see a bunny at the beach, right? He wanted to dip his toes into the cool ocean water. Smith caught a big wave on his surfboard and then rested on the beach with Colton. There are so many beaches in Oceanside to enjoy. Colton wanted to make sure that he saw them all. They all agreed it would be best to take the route through South Oceanside, also known as South O. That way they could show Colton the Cassidy Street Bridge and get ice cream at the Red and White Market. As they grew close to the bridge, Pablo gave Colton the history. This is the oldest bridge in South Oceanside. It is over 60 years old. It is made for foot traffic only. That means no cars. When Colton heard it was an old bridge, he was a little nervous. 
to step on it. Everyone assured him it was safe. Finally, a very tired group of friends came to the red and white market. Billy volunteered to get the ice cream. He got a shopping cart and Anna, a store employee, helped him find the flavors he needed. After he got everyone's order, Genevieve, the friendly cashier, rang the items up. Everyone cheered when Billy emerged with the treats. I would. Smith helped to pass them out. He made sure Carter and Jones were the first in line. That's his brother and sister. He's a good brother. Jackson reminded the kids to use their manners. They gave Genevieve a big hug. Thank you. Alec collected wrappers for the garbage and recycled the paper bag. Ice cream was enjoyed by all. As the group sat in the shade outside the red and white market, Alec pointed across the street to the Kona hut. I go with my grandma there when she gets her morning coffee. I get to color while I eat a big delicious muffin. I love muffins. Jocelyn pointed down the block. My mom gets our organic vegetables at the cream of the crop. They have vegan cookies. Vegan cookies are yummy. As the afternoon faded away, it was time for each member of the group to head home. Before anyone left, Colton hopped on the bench and addressed his new friends. Thank you all for making my first day in Oceanside a very special one. I began the day very sad and lonely. Now my heart is full. I have learned from you that Oceanside is an amazing place to be. I can't wait to share with my family all that I've learned. Oceanside has parks, museums, fun restaurants. Best of all, Oceanside has wonderful friends like you. Hugs went all around as each began their journey home. Colton hopped beside Joey and Gloria. The three of them made plans to meet again tomorrow for the afternoon farmer's market. Also, Gloria wanted to show Colton the Buena Vista Audubon Nature Center. You will see many different kinds of birds there. I will introduce you to some of my cousins. As they rounded the corner, Colton's house came into view. Joey and Gloria said their goodbyes and left him on the steps in his yard. Once again, Colton looked up to see the two parrots, Buster and Bostwick, on the tree branch looking down. Well, little one, said Buster, didn't I tell you friends and adventures would find you in Oceanside? Colton smiled upward. He replied, oh, you were so right. I had such a good time. My heart is very happy. However, my feet are very tired and sore. As Colton stepped in the door, he could smell the vegetarian stew his mother had made special just for him. There was carrot cake for dessert. Mm. Over dinner, he relayed all the exciting events of the day to his parents. After helping his dad with the dishes and brushing his teeth, Colton climbed into his warm bed. He snuggled into his pillow and fell fast asleep. He dreamt of his lovely day in Oceanside. Now he was part of the long history of this community. Yes, he would like it here. You know, at the end of this book, Julia and Nancy included some other wonderful uh, things that Colton got to go see later, but wasn't included in reading the story. But I'm gonna tell you about them. Here, we've got skate parks, the Oceanside Harbor, Camp Pendleton is up north of us, and so many other adventures that I'm sure you're going to find and tell your family about them. Thanks for spending some time with us. I hope your day is awesome.